Well, speaking of stars, Sophie Maletsky is a YouTube star of Sophie's World, which is a channel dedicated to all things crafty. She also is the author of the book Sticky Fingers, and Sophie is a regular craft contributor right here on Sack & Co. She joins me now with a great project highlighting one of the most popular crafting trends. It's duct tape. Duct it's, tape. It's and if amazing. I had known, I would have made you a duct tape crown. Oh my gosh, and I know you could do it. Uh, you absolutely. totally could Complete do that. Complete with duct tape jewels oh my gosh. and duct tape sparkles. We could have done the whole thing up. Oh, that would have been fascinating. <laughs> Maybe next time, right? Except you might have stuck to your head, which would oh. not be a good thing. <laughs> I kind of want the hair to stay on yeah, my head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not go with my crown. All right, so what are we making today, though? Okay, so here's the thing. Summertime is a great time to start reading, right? You gotta want to catch up on some of those books that you haven't had a chance to get to in the year. Oh, yeah. And you know, for kids, I think that summertime is the best time to keep reading so that you don't lose what you've learned over the year. You right? want to avoid that summer slump. The summer slump. And there's yeah. so many great books out there. Mm -hmm. But you also need to keep your place, right? Yes. So we're going to make duct tape corner book biters. Oh, cute. Isn't that cute? That's so adorable. It's, it's a little mouse. Yeah, and you just kind of stick it here, on, you know, and that keeps your place wherever you are in your book. And it's just a corner biter. That's what we call it. And the thing that's great about this project is we can use the end of the roll, which is, you know, by the time you get to the end of your duct tape, it goes yes. and it takes off all of this, which is the cardboard from so the roll. So don't throw it away. You can no. still use it. Because you're you like, can, no. No. <laughs> you should see. We lot. use every little bit of this. I like to say from the rip to the snip, we use every single bit. That's awesome. So this is just one that we've taken and folded over, right? Yes. And then just seal the edges and you end up with a very nice bookmark. This is why she is a massive YouTube star, is because something that we'd normally think would be junk or trash and throw away, you're like, no, this is gold. Oh, yes. And it's a bookmark, and it's such a no-brainer when I look at it and I see it, but it's like, why didn't I think of that? Because I'm not Sophie. Well, that's why. <laughs> yes, but as you know, whenever we craft together, you always yes. take it to the next level, which is the great thing about crafting. You can start with the basics of what I'm gonna teach you, but then you take it to a whole entirely different atmosphere, because I just have basics. You take your own imagination and make it your own. That's beautiful. You're our inspiration. Okay, so, so let, we're let's make get to making one. stuff. Okay, so I cut you a square, and this is from you know the end of the roll. I want you to fold that into a diamond for me. Okay. And then, I don't know if you remember, but we, we talk about that half-on, half-off technique. And what we're going to do is just seal our little diamond here okay. into a triangle. So you're going to line that up over there and just see how that's half-on, half-off. Can you seal that for me? Sure can. And then we're going to do it on the other side, too. Okay. Cute. There Done. There you go. And take Next your other side. piece. And then I'm going to give you a pair of scissors. Okay. And because right now what you basically have is a folded triangle that could be used for like a football game. You know, one of those, you know, the oh, game, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, tabletop you, football. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you could use it for that. But we're not going to do that. We're going to cut right across there, which is why I didn't get too worried about giving you too long a piece of tape. Okay. And what you want to do, Melissa, is actually open up the entire bottom. So you're going to cut right across the okay. whole thing. Okay, cut the bottom off. Yep, and now yeah, you can it. stop right there if you want to. I mean, that can be the place that you, you know, just use that. If you're simple and mm -hmm. all you want is a blue triangle. Yeah, exactly. I go. mean, it'll still hold your spot. Cute. But we're going to add some ears. So. Of course, we can't just keep this plain. Of course not, because this is, this, this is. We're creative. Exactly. Okay. This is creativity corner here. So I got a left ear. So you got your right little in. ears. And then, okay. you know, we're going to seal those into place by giving them the inside of the ear. Got it. There's a technical term for that, but I'm not sure what it is. There's a technical term <laughs> for the inside of your ear. <laughs> oh, the inside of the ear. I thought you meant for sealing this off. I'm like, is this, is this a crafting term that I'm not privy to? Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll call so it searing. It's sealing the ear. Okay, now we're going to give it some eyes. So we're going to give it some little eyeballs here. Cute. There's your little whites of your eyes. Love it. You know, what is it they say? Don't stop until you see the whites of their eyes. Oh, that, that's, that's what lovely. What is that from? That's from... I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> there you go. So, and this, this is something that's really cute you can do with the kiddos, as you mentioned. You know, you really want them to avoid that summer slump, so maybe a little motivation to read that book because they get to do something fun like this, like create a little a little space saver. Exactly. So mm -hmm. there's your nose. You're putting your nose on. Okay. And I'm giving you a tongue. I like to give it something cute. long to hang into the book there. And, of course, it. and then it, where do and I just kind of do this to the back? And that side one like goes that. inside exactly. Okay. Got it. Right. Exactly. Great. And you don't even need teeth. So it's got a little tongue. And there you go. And that's so cute. cute, right? Now, is this something that people can find in your book, Sophie? This one is actually, you know, it's a funny thing. We wrote the book yes. a year ago, so the book came out a year ago, and it's doing really well, and it's a lot of fun and inspirations. Mm -hmm. But we don't stop. 
You know? Of course you so don't. So this is on the website, actually. Okay, so you, you can get Sticky Fingers, which you see right there on your screen. Which has about 75 projects. 75 projects. <laughs> but if that's not enough. Oh, no, no, no. If 75 <laughs> is not enough for you with your love of duct tape. Always you more. Can, <laughs> yes, you can go to Sophie's World, where you have such amazing inspiration to make such unbelievable things like I see here for this upcoming school year too you have a book cover right so this is a book cover that you know you can carry it with you and it has a little pocket to keep oh, your pens so in and that way you know you can take it to class with you whatever you need there and this is actually for you know if you have a Kindle instead of oh. you know so you can cover your Kindle to keep it safe very if nice. you keep your books on a Kindle because a lot of the kids are actually using Kindles and uh, iPads now in class yeah, absolutely so this yes. is a great way and then we've actually got a little backpack over here now most of this stuff is actually in the book or on the website so mm -hmm. you'll be able to find it all and this if you happen to be an artistic kid is an art portfolio oh great yeah so you can keep all your stuff Oh, oh, note to self. Yes, because as we all know as parents, your child brings home a lot of these art projects that they do at school. You don't know what to do with them. You can only put so many on the fridge or on the wall. Exactly. You can so keep them nice that. and secure and oh, safe. Oh, how wonderful. Exactly. And um, also great resource, too, for teachers if you're looking for upcoming things for the school year of what to do in the classroom. I know, Sophie, you're an amazing resource for that. And not to mention, let's keep the kids busy. Well, right? you know, kids... Kids love getting creative, and if you just give them a few little things to get started, whew, like we said before, yes. off they go. Okay, so where do we find Sophie's World? Sophie-world.com, www.sophie-world.com, and that's got all the YouTube connections, you can follow us on Instagram, you know, the whole social media world. How, how many followers do you have right now? So right now I think we have about 38,000 followers, and then we have about 9 million views. So we just passed the 9 million mark the other Like day. I said, she's a star, you guys. Okay, everyone, have a fantastic day. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 11.30 right here on Sack & Co.